Hi, my beautiful babies. Hi, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot on this gorgeous, beautiful, God bless day. So, let this reading be surrounded with so much love and so much unconditional sprinkly tinklies in your heart, okay? Sprinkly tinklies <laughs> in your heart. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, also, you guys, check out my website, cherishlovebear.com. My email, though, to contact me is cherishlbear at gmail.com, link down below. My website also has blogs if you want to check it out and see who the fuck I am. And what else? Um, yeah, I have um, openings available starting in two weeks, a week and a half. So holler at me if you have any questions about the way I read, pricings, etc. Okay? Okay? All right, babe, let's get into it. How is your person feeling about you deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a mofo walk in this walk in this earth? Okay, not even when they're in death row, not even when they're like I always say six coronas in in Mexico. Okay, these are their deepest, most beautiful desires when it comes to your beautiful face. Okay, so just give me a second here. I have to put my ponytail down because my hair is hella heavy and then you know when it's like pushing your forehead back and it's just like your forehead's like has a migraine but it's fake because it's just caused from the tight ponytail. Ooh. Oh, that's what happens when you have really naturally really 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 thick heavy heavy hair. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay let's get into it my beautiful babes. Do I want to say anything else to you guys? Just thanks. Thanks for always coming back, subscribing, and participating in the polls when I ask what do you guys want to know, okay? So, let's get into it. Pile number one. How's your person feeling about you? So, this advice card from your ancestors and your highest, greatest self. We'll put it in the back. Back of the bus. Oh! My God, you guys! Okay, so you guys are super, super... Told, told, troubled, hocus pocus, right the f, f up. Okay, okay. So what I'm, what I was, what I'm getting before even doing this is you're at your last. You're at your last. Okay, sis. Wow, you are at your last fucking like. That's it. I'm done. This is too much hard work. I'm doing everything I can to win this battle. F him. <sighs> I'm getting like biggie, like. Fuck <laughs> Like I'm getting Biggie to Tupac like and then Tupac to Biggie, you know that energy I'm getting Tupac to Biggie when he makes that uh, Shoot him up <laughs> Song that is how you feel to where you're man. You're very hot. You're mad. You're angry You want to fuck you want to slice and dice you want to rip them a new asshole You are fucking done. You are so done sis I'm getting you're ready to pack your bags and bounce like you are so fucking done This is too tedious too much hard work You're like why should I give you so much my love and my beautiful love and conditions and you don't even kick in You're just a fucking cunt <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just got to keep it real on what I'm feeling. You are angry. You're mad. You're ready to You're ready to effing like Fuck them up. I just got to keep it real with you guys I don't, Like that is your energy and that's what I'm picking up on even before I pick this start cheesing. What the hell he's feeling? I feel like you're on your last legs of this journey with this person your last fucking legs, like, like I said, that energy I'm getting, like, Tupac. Call the cops when you see Tupac. That's such a good song. I'm actually going to listen to that now all day. Okay, so let's get into how your person's feeling. <laughs> besides the, you know, besides that you want to shoot him. Don't be humble. What the F? You're a mother effing walking God. Don't be humble. What the fuck? You're a mother effing walking god. Okay, you are like pristine, pristine. You are like that billion dollar cootie cat. Okay? 
You're like that Nicki Minaj super bass just went platinum diamond pussy. That's you, okay? And he knows that. This little, um, <clears throat> this little turd. Okay, let's see what else. I don't care what people say anymore. F them. <clears throat> Baby. So perhaps he was just listening to his bros. Perhaps he was like running around with his buddies 24 seven. <clears throat> you are so effing funny. You make me laugh. Your social media lit. Okay, so homeboy's creeping you. If you think that he's totally, you know, ghosted out and he doesn't give a shit, he's creeping you. Very immature tit for tat. Oh yeah, you guys got extra card. Huh. Now I usually just do one, two, three, but this one came out. Like I said, your pile was popping. Whoever chose one, this was some crazy ass energy. I got that you guys are were, are raging mad. You are on your last legs. <sighs> Safe sex and paychecks, our empire, our legacy. Safe mm, and paychecks, our empire, our legacy. So what then? What? 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 Why are you being like this? I can just feel your frustration. It's so annoying. It's so annoying to me because I have to pick up on your ass. Okay, here we go. Baby, actually, I'll just lay these all out before it's I read for you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Man, you guys got a hell of a lot of cards here. Jeez. Travel drive all the way to you. Wow, you guys. Wow. Baby, you picking up on this? Come here. Come show them. Come show them. Just have to make this light better for you guys so you guys can really get the tea of what is up. Okay, where are we at? Okay, cool. All right, so thus far, and we have, yeah, babe, you are represented as the queen, which is pretty much I'll slice you up. Come at me, bro. Like, look at her hand. She's like, come at me. You want some more? Don't fuck with me. Like that's, <laughs> you're definitely represented from this queen of swords. Perfectly tells the energy that I'm picking up on. Heart, hella heart. Hella, hella heart, okay? Hella, hella heart. But yo, we're tens out here. Like you can't fuck with a 10, bruh. Who do you think you're messing with, first of all? Oops, sorry, babe, I moved your camera here. Moved your camera. All right, so yeah, you're represented from that boss as B. And then we have, okay, all right, so it turns him on that you're feisty. It turns him on that you're a firecracker. It turns him on the makeup lovemaking. The makeup, the makeup stuff turns this guy on with his toxic unhealed ass, you know? He gets off on peeing you off. Your, your man is hella immature, you guys. Super immature. Frustrating. It makes you, loves to see you frustrated. Loves to see your panties in a wad because he gets off on that, you guys. He does. He gets off on that. <sighs> he wants to definitely, like right from, right off the hop, you guys. Right off the hop when you guys linked up. Right off the hop when you guys linked up. It was like popping off. It popped off this beautiful, great ass tension. Perhaps you guys made some really banging, love making, earth shaking love on the first night and it was like ecstasy, take me to ecstasy without taking ecstasy. You guys shared bodies, beat, it, beat each other up and it was great. But the thing was, there was never no damn reciprocity when it came to what are we, what is this? Is this a contractual agreement? Are we always gonna mess with each other? Yo, how about let's just bump uglies together. I don't wanna be sleeping around everywhere, everywhere, because nobody likes to like toss it up with like so many different dicks, right? So this guy definitely, you were definitely um, someone that he celebrated because he was so happy that 
he caught you. He was really so happy that he caught you because you are a walking God, you guys. You are this beautiful, sprinkly, mother effing fine ass body. Like this guy would just totally kiss every inch of you with his beautiful lips. Oh my God. Very sensual, seductive energy. Why? <laughs> you devil. You devil. That's why you're so crazy over him, right? Wow, I'm getting, I'm picking up on the sex, how sex, um, how sexually attractive he is. He's very sensual, you guys. He seduced your ass. Ooh, no wonder why you're so crazy. What, frustrated with him because it's like, you came into my life and you seduced me. So yeah, so there was like, he was like low key really happy that he like found you, okay? He was like, even though he didn't express it to you, low key happy that he found you because you were like, the diamond in the rough, you know? That he could never score. He never had a chance with a chick like you. You were like, uh, he was even really super shocked and surprised and taken back that you even threw him a bone, first of all. So, moving forward, that he feels like any of this, any of this like stuff, ruckus you guys are going through, the ruckus fluckus, is just not, it's not going. Like he doesn't see it going. See this monkey? He's like the monkey, like, you know, the baboon, whatever the F this is. He's like blindfolded. He doesn't see how amazing, he's not taking advantage of this opportunity. He's not taking advantage of this opportunity of this deep, beautiful love that you have right now in the current energy. He's not, he's not, but he's not communicating this with to you also because he doesn't want to be um, a liar. So he does have some kind of honor this sexual little demon. <laughs> he does have some kind of honor. He doesn't want to lie to you. So he's holding himself back from making any promises and stuff like that. Cause he doesn't believe in bad karma. He doesn't want to lie to you or lead you on. Lead you on by Loretta Lynn, you guys. That's such a good song. So the song I'm getting for your energy, how you feel about him is um, Shoot Him Up by Tupac. And then, um, <laughs> and then like, that song also I'm getting is Lead Me On by Loretta Lynn. Like talk about lead me on, but he can't help but fall in love with you. So what he does is he puts this huge wall up. He puts this huge wall up so he doesn't fall in all the way. And guess who he's hurting? He's gonna, ri he's ripping himself off of this great billion dollar cootie cat, this million dollar empire you can give him, this legacy, this gorgeous, luscious Forrest Gump home that he only prayed and wished for. You are giving him the billion dollar lottery ticket, you guys. But homeboy is fucking slow in the head, pretty much. He just ain't seeing it. He's not taking the beautiful opportunity you have to give him, okay? So take your hot sauce for now and your beautiful ass energy and do you. Do you. That is what I'm just gonna have to say. Like, sorry to jump the gun. I know I didn't flip all these other motherfucking cards, but do you, because homeboy's doing him. He's not even, he's, you're a convenience to him. You're just the, a convenience for him you guys in the current energy he's definitely taking you for granted he's definitely being stupid but guess what he is going to definitely feel your energy when you pull back okay you are going to pull your energy back and you're definitely going to um i want you to pull your energy back because this guy feels like you expect a lot from him and he can't give you shit. Like he can't, you're just like, he knows you're waiting for him right now. He knows that you, you would, you know, accommodate him hand and foot, even though you would, you know, rip him a new asshole, you would still accommodate him and he knows you would because you just have bent over backwards for him so many times already. He's like, well, what's the difference? She's always there for me. It's almost like you're a doormat. It's like you're a doormat, my number one to this guy. So. He's definitely like, it's too much to accommodate her or to like offer a full on relationship with her. It's way too much right now. So he's not giving that to you. He's not even making it um, a choice. You know what I mean? And I can't get over how it's like here in Vancouver, it's like lunchtime and it's so dark, you know, cause of the rainy season. Anyways, yeah, so like, he just feels like he can't give you this opportunity of love, marriage, shacking up, the next step in your guys' union, commitment, you know what I mean? He can't make any kind of stipulations right now. And even when he, the thought of it just makes him think like, fuck that be hard work right now. I'm in no mood. Your boy is in party mode. He's in like doing him, going to basket. I don't know, if basketball tournaments. I'm getting a guy who goes to a lot of basketball tournaments, a lot of um, 
poker tournaments possibly. He travels a lot for work. So he's in different area codes like all the time. So probably, probably holds in different area codes, ludicrous. But whenever he thinks about taking you to the next level, he's just like, that's too much right now. I can't even do that. I can't even call my mom every second day. How the fuck can I accommodate her every day? <laughs> but it's like when men, masculines take one of, they make time. You make time for the things that you love. I don't care who you are. Do you not sit on the toilet? Do you not sit on the toilet and take a dump for five minutes with your phone? That's like a, a couple texts to say, hey baby, I love you, I'm okay, I'm healthy. Holla at you after, I'm really tired, exhausted right now, but I'll holla at you tonight before bed. That's, people make time for the shit they give a shit about and homeboy's just not ready to invest in your beautiful light, okay? He's not. When he thinks about marriage with you, when he thinks about marriage with you, he's like, oh my God, that's too much work right now. <clears throat> he's too busy living the high life, traveling, like I said, I'm getting basketball tournaments. He travels for work. <clears throat> in the far, far future though, in the far, far future, he's like, I can't see myself with nobody else. In the far, far future, he's like, I can't see myself with nobody else. Why? Because she turns me on. She's batshit crazy. She's my ride or die. She's my me and my girlfriend Tupac. You know what I mean? Like she will cut a bitch. <laughs> she will do hard time for me. Like 21 questions, 50 cent. Like straight up your guy definitely sees you as this beautiful, gorgeous, powerful house. But he can't give you anything right now. Maybe in the far future, far, far future when he's ready to, you know, cuff up, he will offer you this beautiful sprinkly love. But right now, you guys, I don't see it happening for a long time. And I don't want you guys to wait around. I never recommend waiting around. I always recommend doing you, pulling back your energy and doing you, okay? But this guy ain't ready to take it easy for quite a while. And you have already put so much energy in your beautiful diamond platinum love into this. Don't waste your energy on this anymore because this guy is not wasting his energy on you. So why the fuck should you waste your energy on him? All right, let's further flip. Flip diddy dip. Flip diddy dip. Yeah, baby. You are represented from this gorgeous, beautiful walking goddess. You are a walking god. Any barnyard, any motherfucking NFL game, any ch children's fundraising function you walk in, you're that bitch. You got your Louis on, you got your lipstick, you got your fillers, okay? You got that nice big bootie. You got those, you just got that queen suave. It just comes natural because you're that bitch. Don't ever think that you ain't because you are. You're that mom. You're that MILF. You're that 20 year old beautiful cheerleader that never got the head cheerleader, but we all know you should have because you're just that motherfucking fine. That's you, okay? You're gorgeous as F. Don't ever forget that. And he knows that. I don't know why he's messing around, playing around. He's so immature. He's annoying me. Your person annoys the shit out of me, to be honest. Connection. Ooh, baby, I love your way. Every day. Hey, so he sees this connection. He sees it. He knows. He feels it. He can feel it coming in. Okay. Don't we just love this card? This pedophile looking mother effer here. <sighs> yeah. Wow. So yeah, your person definitely just sees... He's self-sabotaging himself. He sees how he's self-sabotaging himself, you guys. Wow, this guy. Remember how I said he's like, out of all of the girls, how does that song? Out of all of the girls, you're my one and only girl. Ain't nobody in the room tonight. That's you. You're just this gorgeous, beautiful boss ass bitch with all your golden rings, all your nice jewelry. Even if it's costume jewelry, you still own it because we all know you're not stupid enough to wear your jewelry out to functions unless you're packing in your bra, unless you're packing heat in your purse. You know what I mean? So, he definitely knows. Like, look at how gorgeous and beautiful you are, you guys. You're that bitch. Like, Beyonce who? <laughs> J-Lo who? <laughs> like, they don't even compare to you, okay? Let's get real here. Like, you are the most beautiful woman in the world. Why the fuck are you settling for breadcrumbs when you can go and have the whole ass pizza with a two liter of Pepsi? Why the fuck are you selling for spam sis when you deserve steak? Like I said, he, he was even shocked that you even, like, 
laid it down nice and dirty with him the first time. He was like, damn, I really just tapped my lifetime dream. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like I said, he doesn't respect you right now. He's taking advantage of you. So why? It has nothing to do with you. He's just immature. So move the fuck on and do you. He just it can't, still can't believe that you even gave him a chance. He's like, whoa, I never scored to her caliber. He never fucked with a 10 in your caliber in his life. He doesn't, you know, he's just, yeah. Ah, take the lead. Ah, you know what this reminds me of, you guys? Spirit fingers. Ah, spirit fingers off, bring it on. Ah, spirit fingers. So I don't know what you guys did in the bedroom. Little spirit finger here, little spirit finger here. You know what I mean? So yeah, so in the current energy, this guy is just self-sabotaging his ass. He doesn't see no damn future or how in future with you. And he's trying to ghost you intentionally and ignore you intentionally because he doesn't want to lead you on. And he knows in the far, far future, you might not take him back at all, which rightfully so, because he knows he did you dirty and he knows that you're a queen and you respect and love yourself so much. And you are... Choosing self-worth and self-respect according to those cards. He's picking up on the energy because He knows if he comes back It's a 50 50 chance that you would ever take him back because he did things to you in poor taste He walked all over your heart. He took advantage of you He pretty much ripped your heart out of your chest and stomped all over it made you frustrated as hell and played games How does that Backstreet Boys get a uh, song go? Quit playing games with my heart playing games with my heart that one that is how like and but he did he played he played you like a fiddle pretty much played with your feelings that is not a man like like um bob marley says a coward awakens a woman's heart with no intentions to love her that's a motherfucking coward and I, what i said was this boy is immature he's a boy he's a baby boy baby boy tyrese and you're a boss ass bitch you're a queen you got everything going on for you finances spirituality emotional you're beautiful you're fucking gorgeous you have like very good self-love and baby choose yourself like don't wait for this guy do you do you please please and thank you um, but I'm not just gonna leave you at that, babe. I'm gonna actually see what's for loving you in a book and choosing another. Quit playing games with my heart. I don't even know why I chose this song, actually. Actually, I mean this deck because I don't know, but I just use whatever the I'm guided to. So let's see what's next for you in the love. Moving on, what's advice, creator? Thank you for the advice coming through. Moving forward because this boy is just gonna play with their hearts. Yeah, so babe, what I'm really seeing is you have to heal. You have to heal from this heartbreak. Eventually, there's gonna be this guy, this this air sign that's gonna come in. But for now, my love, for now, my beautiful boss ass bitch, you really just gotta take the time to just have those sad bitch days utilize those mental health days at work tell your babies your kids if you have kids or your dogs to give mom a couple hours in the bedroom to cry because you do need those times just to cry and heal and feel and release and be strong enough to feel your heartbreak oh it works so good you guys ah. cherish his medicine Take those sad bitch days and feel your heart chakra breaking. That's the only way to heal because yeah, you're, you have this road to go to heal from this guy. Like you really do. Mr. Suave here, Mr. Cheeky ass. You have a, you have to heal from him. He's represented from this dude. Yeah. You have to heal from him before you could even think of looking at somebody else. So like I said, utilize those sad bitch days. A lot of self-worth and self-love. Baby, you will never lose in this life when you, cho when you choose your self-worth and your self-love. You will never fucking lose. You will always come out a winner. Okay, so I know that's really hard for you to see right now, but you will always win when you choose yourself. And what they're saying is you really got to heal right now. Because you don't want to really take in the painful, 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 painful PTSD of this guy's energy that's around you right now. Because he's all up in your energy right now. You don't want to take that in when you meet this air sign. He's just going to come in like, oop, here I am. <laughs> and you're like, I don't bang if it don't hang. And he's like, ah, it is hanging. 
Oh. <laughs> so he's gonna come in, but like I said, you gotta heal, okay? So heal your ass. All right, let's see what the hell's going on with this. Advice from your ancestors and creator God. Boundaries, where do you need to establish better boundaries? Okay, so obviously, this is huge. This is huge. This relationship, you guys, taught you healthy boundaries. Your self-worth. You, baby, you have low self-worth to put up with this guy for this long. Let's keep it real. And you got to work on your self-worth. How do you work on your self-worth? Knowing you deserve the best. Look at every single relationship you've had. Are they all a pattern of you giving like 80% of yourself and they just give you 20%? Why the fuck are you doing that? Why do you do that so much? You have to really start looking at yourself and holding yourself accountable and responsible. Was it because your parents, your foster parents, whoever you lived with, your grandparents, your auntie, as a child, you always had to give, 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 even to get a scrap of love? You gotta start recognizing your, your self-worth and really building it and talking to that inner child. How do you do, how do you heal self-worth is self-love telling you, yo, I deserve, deserve the best with my billion dollar cootie cat. Why am I chucking it to these little boys? So yeah, work on those healthy boundaries, baby. Work on those healthy boundaries. Check out my website. I did a blog about my self-worth and the steps it took to finally get to where I'm at today, where I'm healthy as fuck, okay? Well, not saying I'm, you know, perfect, you know? I'm not saying I'm perfect, but you know what I mean. All right, my beautiful love, my gorgeous ass, beautiful boss ass bitch walking God on this earth. I love you so much. Keep being the sprinkly, beautiful, magical, fair you are. I love you and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Up There. Is this crooked or what? I don't know. Okay, so welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot on this gorgeous, beautiful, God blessed day. How y'all doing? I'm great. I woke up, I had some coffee, did my yoga, prayed to the Creator God first and foremost. All love and blessings. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. So this is for my babies, my beautiful loves who chose pile number two. How's your person feeling about you deep down in their heart space that they do not tell their brother, their sister, their mama, maybe their neighbor, perhaps their neighbor. For sure, probably their neighbor. So um, let's get into it. How are they feeling about you deep down in their cuddly little, 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 little heart space? And thanks for liking, subscribing. All the beautiful comments make my heart smile with joy and they give me strength to keep going on. <laughs> it's real dramatic. You know what the fuck I mean, okay? So let's get into it. Pile number two. How does it feel about you? Mm. Wow, you guys got so many cards. Wow. What? What? Wow. Okay, so this is an advice card from your ancestors and angels that I'll put behind for the last card. And also, you know me, I just smudge and pray on everything. So whatever comes through is chosen to come through for you because you're the chosen one. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm away from you, but this distance doesn't stop me from loving you so much. I'm away from you, but this distance doesn't stop you from loving me so much. Wow, holy, this guy. This guy's in his feels about you. Definitely just has this beautiful heart, heart awakening. You're like the first sip of pina colada in Mexico airport, and we all know how that is, bitch. <laughs> like, we all know how that is. We all know how that is. Oh, my God. Let's go on a motherfucking vacation. Someone send me a ticket right now, and let's just go. Like, fuck this world, you know? <laughs> you are truly the most beautiful woman in the world how did i get you oh my gosh you guys this guy is crazy over you oh my gosh he probably has a pam anderson po poster um cemented to his wall and he probably like printed out a picture on your instagram and put cut it out and put your face on her poster you know, like <laughs> real Hannibal lector -y. I bet you that's what he did since he's so crazy, crazy bitch, this guy. All right, so these, wow, you guys got so many cards, hey? <laughs> like, wow. Okay, well then, let's, let's get her out of here. 
No time to mess around. No time to take our sweet ass time. All right, do to do. I'm just going to lay these out first before we talk about it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at it. how gorgeous and beautiful and blessed from God and just divinely walking God you are. Wow, you guys, touched by, oh, kissed by an angel, touched by a sun. <gasps> wow, you guys, this is so beautiful. You're like the sunshine, my baby. Wow, whoever's watching this, you're like the sunshine of radiance and definitely a freaking galactic ass, starseed, shiny, bright ass indigo child, whoever chose this, like you are a full-on walking angel this is the pile full-on walking angels full-on full-on interdimensional being lots of extraterrestrial dna activation whenever you're in round groups you activate folks without even motherfucking knowing it okay even if you go have to go to the registration unit and go re-register your whip and get your damn driver's license you still activate everyone's motherfucking dna in that waiting room okay so don't ever think that you are not here for a reason know that you are here for a reason and a season and it's to wake up humanity just by being you because you're just a natural walking goddess okay you're so beautiful you're so gorgeous you're a gift to anybody who knows you and you're fucking beautiful on top of that not only are you super beautiful and sprinkly sunshine on the inside and you radiate like a walking sun you are also fucking physically stimulating like i'm talking Guys will walk by you and they'll shit their pants and pre-cum. <laughs> like, you're just so gorgeous. You're so fucking beautiful. Like, not only to him, but to me. Because I'm picking up on your energy. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So beautiful. Oh my, get the fuck out of here. Okay, whoever chose this, get out of here. I don't want to do, I don't want to do your cards anymore. Why are you even on a pick a card? <laughs> like, I don't want to, I don't want to do this anymore. That is why it's so important to use several decks because honestly, you guys, look it. Look, look. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Look it, you guys got two fucking powerhouse. I'm a walking goddess. I'm the boss ass bitch. I'm the queen of the galaxy in the world cards. That's what I'm saying. This is my pile of the angels, of walking angel, of like very, very, very high, hardcore indigo. Indigo motherfucking ancient ass soul starting from Atlantis, starting from time, time, time memorial. You are so fucking beautiful. And you know, the reason why you're so physically attractive is because you have served so many lifetimes of your past lives helping people, really had real tr hard trials and tribulations in your past life where you were just very almost genocided, murdered, killed, raped, um, you know, like just anything. And you always kept a very loving, kind soul through all the trials and tribulations. You didn't let the ugly of the world turn you mean. And in this reincarnation, you banked on that so like creator god paid you back and you're definitely banking on how gorgeous you are you guys you are banking in this lifetime specifically you guys a lot of folks are banking of all those years of trials and tribulations of reincarnations and they're banking on their their good looks and their physical spiritual powers in this lifetime because they have always kept a love and kind heart. So congratulations for you. And it's an honor to read your cards today. It is a true motherfucking honor, whoever's watching this, to read your cards today. Because bitch, you are the high priestess and the empress. Like you are that bitch. You are every man's dream come true. And you are every child's wish they wish they had a mama like you or an auntie like you. You are every man wants to sleep with you. Every woman wants to be you. Okay, so best believe you have a lot also at the, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. You also have, um, <clears throat> I really hope sis, you protect yourself to the max because what comes with great power comes great responsibility because then you get more um, attacks from the dark side. That's why I, it's good, good on you for every day, high frequency. That's your obligation when you have this much power, you guys. Yo, look at that one too. <laughs> Like, look it! When you have this much power, really the big task for you is making sure you're in a high frequency. How do you do a high frequency is self-love. 
Wow, you guys, look at this. This is like, I just want to stop and like, I just want to stop this reading and just end it here and be like, you are the most beautiful person in the world. No wonder why this guy, no wonder why this guy is so in love with you. You are truly the most beautiful woman in the world. How did I get you? He's, he's in love. He's definitely in love with your Coco. Like he is, he can't even believe. Like he's in awe. He's like, how the fuck did she... How am I getting this? Like, he is unbelievably like, wow, you guys. Wow, you woke him up. You woke this guy up and he's in smitten. He's crazy in love with you. Crazy, crazy in love. Wow. Holy man, you are just wow. <laughs> You are everything he's ever dreamt of since he was a little boy. Remember the Pam Anderson thing? You know what I mean? Yeah, you guys. Wow. He's so intimidated from you. He's so intimidated. He doesn't even know how the fuck. How do you love him? Like, he just feels like he has nothing to offer someone who has... How do you offer someone who already has everything? How do you offer someone who's just the most beautiful, gorgeous woman in the world? How do you offer someone who doesn't need anything? How do you offer someone who's just perfect in every single way? I can't offer her anything. Even if this guy, you guys, is so beautiful, so gorgeous, and so successful, you have him shaking in his boots. You have him feeling like that little scared boy ready to take, like, team pictures for his first sports team around, you know, a big scary fucking guy behind the camera. Like, you have him shaking in his boots, you guys. Like, you have this kid, you have piqued his inner child fears. Like, he's, like, feeling like that little scared, nervous kid with little zitty face going through puberty, fucking choking with his puberty voice, you know what I mean? You have him back to grade school. Oh, you bitch. Oh, this bracelet. My favorite sweat. Mm. Mm. Aww, this bracelet went into my favorite sweat. Anyways, I'm buying some new Nike sweats anyways, like this weekend because sis is in sweats 24 seven, sweatsuits, cause I work out all the time. Anyways, so yeah, you guys, so that's what the fuck is up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you have this guy shaking in his boots like he's like i get such a gentle loving feeling from him i get such a gentle loving feeling from him like smooth like strawberry wine oh my god you guys i'm when i pick up on his energy he is so in love with you he is so in love with you. It's like, I just want to, you know, when I pick up on his energy, I just literally just want to go and lay in a boat and just get swept away. Like, this guy's just ready to get swept away. He's already swept away, actually. He's swept away. You just came and swept him off his feet. Like, you just came, charged in, and swept this guy off his feet. He didn't even know what hit him. He just was knocked the fuck off his rock out of nowhere. You just came in and blew him away. So... I, I ain't motherfucking surprised though. Am I, should I, I'm not surprised. Anybody, not only him, but just anybody in this universe who knows you gets swept off their feet. You're a blessing. Make sure you charge people for your time because your energy is very galactic and healing. Make sure, don't waste your time with people that are just takers, takers, takers. Make sure you're utilizing your energy and using it for your highest and greatest good because you're a natural born healer. You heal people. Chivalry. Aw, chivalry ain't dead, bitch. It's not. I'm old school. I love to be wine dine 69 Picked up. Get my shit paid for. The distorted feminine. Out of all of the girls. Your mom. Yeah, you guys got so much cards. Wow. Had a lot to say here. Had a lot to say here. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot to say here. Jeez, Williger's journey. It's a journey, motherfucker. I'm gonna put you right there. Uh, toil and labor. This guy's no. This guy knows you've been through a lot. You don't mess around. You know what you want in life. You've come a long way. <clears throat> Your boss ass bitch, 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 Trina. That's you. Okay, that's definitely you. But. Yo, with this guy pulling back his energy a little bit, like he could be 100% gun ho when it comes to you, but 
like I said, he's really kind of intimidated and he's you got him shaking in his boots and he's like, oh my gosh. And a lot of it has to do, my baby, with the distance, the journey. I'm away from you. This long distance relationship is really, really hella playing hard on my talk. It's really tough. So yeah, he wants this distance is really like, yo, if you guys were just like in the same city, guess how fucking crazy your guys' lovemaking would be. That'd be off the charts. That'd be some hot sauce. You know, that'd be some bottle it up and sell it to the fucking millions of people. You know what I mean? So your person, that's what's really taking the, um, how you just came and knocked him off his feet and stuff like that and swept him away is because, cause sis, he never ever thought anyone like you existed. Like I said, when I pick up on his energy, it's very innocent. Very innocent, loving, beautiful guy. I like your guy. I really love him, actually. And like he was, like I said, you just came into his life like a whirlwind, like a hurricane, Luke Holmes hurricane. And you just fucking like totally took him off. Like he had his, he was, he's a go-getter. Your person's a go-getter. He's definitely does something very career orientated. Um, and he's focused. And then you just came out of nowhere and it was just like, boom. And it was like, wow, very focused, very focused and determined person. And it was just like, you came in out of nowhere. And that's usually how real love, true love works. You guys, as you least expect it. And all of a sudden your divine counterpart comes in and just takes you. So there's a lot of impatience that comes with this because of the distance. And it is really sometimes feeling like it hurts. It hurts because you want, oh shit. Um, because you want the wheel of love and the wheel of fortune to turn, turn, turn and to work in your favor. But a lot of times homeboy will come home after work and he'll be like feeling, you know, exhausted after a day of work. And he'll just, you know what he wants? He wants to come home to his wife. He wants to come home to his wife who has that chamomile tea on, who has that slow Luther Vandross, that Beyonce dangerously in love playing. He wants to come home to you with that lingerie. You know what I mean? He wants to come home to you on your guys' white feathery down blankets and he just wants to kiss you and make love to you. And it's really, he feels like, <laughs> the, he's like, why does she have, why does the love of my life have to be so fucking far away? That's what he feels, that's what he thinks. Now that I've met the woman of my dreams and she's even like exceeded all expectations of my childhood dreams, why the fuck does she have to be so far away? Why did the universe throw this huge wrench into this love? Yo, because that's how the universe works, you guys. That's how it works. So yeah, he just like thinks about a lot of the times all, all of my wishes come true, but she's at a distance. Every woman, like he's smitten in love with you. He has never met anyone even close to you. Not even fucking close, sis. <coughs> Not even, nobody compares, nothing compares. How does that song go? Nothing compares, nothing compares to you. You know that song? Mm, yeah. So he really wants to never ever be regretful when it comes to you. He never wants to be like Eeyore. He never wants to be a Debbie Downer when it comes to you. But he's starting to, um, Sometimes in his energy, he starts to lose hope like, oh my God, <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes he's a little Debbie Downer when it comes to you because he's like, how do I equal up to her? Like, it's so hard. I know I'm not giving her everything that I can, but I want to give her everything I can. What if she doesn't like me? What if she doesn't? What if she gets mad at me when I see her? What if she like, because I'm not giving my 100% because I'm so insecure and I'm so scared. Like, what if she like is so mad at me already and she doesn't love me. You know, he's really scared to get the wrath from you because you're such this beautiful, gorgeous woman in the world. Big heart, big, big, big heart. And he knows that you can never hurt someone with such a loving heart. You don't hurt people like that because karma's a bitch. And when you fuck with someone with a good heart, very beautiful heart like you have, baby, then yeah, karma's gonna come bite you in the ass. You have to be some kind of sick fuck or sociopath to break someone with a good heart and soul, okay? So he knows that. That's why he's just like, I never want to hurt her. She's too beautiful inside. I never would want to hurt someone like that. Wow, this guy has such a kind heart. Um, he wants, he can see himself building a life with you. He, like I said, he wants to come home to you. He wants you to be in that lingerie. He wants to have that chamomile tea. He wants to just lay in the duck feather pillows and duck feather 
blankets with you and just love you and just be you know that presence when you just be you don't even focus on anything in the world you just are present and just to be he just wants to be fully present with you and he just wants to love you every day every day sis you have him shaking in his boots seriously oh my god but you have this effect on a lot of people that's just what you do it just comes natural okay wow you guys this is super super hardcore so he is trying to work really hard work really hard to come home to you he's trying to really journey towards you in the current energy um he's really trying to make that big and decide decipher a plan coming forward moving towards you and planning how do we kick it on the daily okay so i'm gonna pull some more feeling cards for you to see what else is going on in this ba this little cute baby's mind i really like this guy <laughs> like i really like him he, he he has a kind heart very kind heart for the most part do 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 boo you are so fucking beautiful wow <laughs> i'm so happy you came on this beautiful love tarot and chose this pile like you really blessed me with some good ass energy some dope energy so thank you for that whoever's uh watching this okay okay <laughs> yeah he wants that magical hot sauce for sure <laughs> dick you down holy ass magical bitch wow and of course you are because like i said you're the highest divinest ancient beautiful magical soul out here the high priestess every man wants to sleep with her every woman wants to be her every child wishes they that you were their mother and every every family wishes they had an auntie like you okay because she hooks it up and he hooks it up with those magical edibles i'm too locked up restricted the distance thing the distance thing I walked away from this long ago. So he fights himself all the time. He's like, oh my God, like, what do I do? What do I do? So psychs himself out, right? Because of course, frustration, fear, the two things analytically that the ninth dimension, this whole damn earth is meant to feel fear, frustration. That's emotional fuck ups, you guys. It's meant to be this way. He's meant to feel like this, okay? These are some doubts that go on in his head. I'm, he's still healing from breakup with the ex. I'm still healing from breakup with his ex. So there might be ling lingering feelings of PTSD still happening from his re most recent relationship, okay? And that's shit was fake news. Stop listening. <laughs> so perhaps you creeped his social media or found something that you should have never found out and he further and you further got into some deep ass argument and he just wants you to know that that was way 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 overdoing it it was way too much you got to stop listening to outside parties yeah so there is an external energy that's really getting into the way of your guys's union but like i said you guys are represented from everything bombshell we got like the energy i'm getting from you is beyonce j-lo like beyonce j-lo um princess diana like everything you got that lakshmi energy you guys make sure after you watch this i want you to thank god for really giving you all these beautiful gifts and talents so he's feeling really um yeah the distance is killing this guy this distance is killing him it's hurting but let's see what advice we can give you moving forward in this relationship what advice we can give you moving forward how would this relationship go moving forward i guess we can do the advice the advice because yeah because this is a pickle and a nickel i'm gonna say that this is a pickle and a nickel advice to my beautiful love watching this yeah shit's gotta give there's gotta be there's gotta be some tower moments that happen Ooh, yeah mm -hmm. yep there's got to be before you guys can really unionize he's got to walk away from a lot he's got to go through a lot of transformation cut out the bullshit your person and you both have to go through this massive ass crumbling and transformation of everything the past getting rid of the old stagnant energies that you keep on holding on from the past you guys something's got to die here before you guys can really you unionize like glue something's got to die here something's got to fall 
whether it's his ex relationship with her coming and picking up all the clothes, whether it's your relationship with you making sure that you're getting rid of the things in your house that represent your old life. You've got to make sure some shit's got to fall to be completely unionized, you guys. You can't be trying to get into a new relationship or new energies expecting it to be all sprinkly, saucy, wassy when you have like extra stagnant energy like your ex's fucking motorbike in the garage. No, 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 no. Law of attraction. You got to make room for the new relationship that's coming in, which means purging the fuck out of your house. <laughs> of all memories and remnants of your old life. Something's gotta give. You guys got, not only your person has gotta let go of this old um, relationship, cause this is a very beautiful reading you guys, but so do you. You guys still have a little bit of shit you guys have to let go of, okay? Before you guys can be soulmates and come into this beautiful, gorgeous union. Cause trust and believe, if you take this advice of letting go more of some shit that you have in your own life, as well as your person, you guys go through this, trust and believe union is inevitable like union is in the books but like i said you have a lot of walking away to do also and so does your person there's a lot of shadow energies and cycles and a lot of stagnant energy that are in the environment of him and you that you guys still have to purge a lot of a lot of stuff you know it's a bitch i know it's a bitch but that's just the way life goes Law of attraction, if you want some new energies to come in, you need to really, really make sure you're purging 100% your old life out to make union for this new bright energy that's pushing to come in. Like, look it. Wow. I can't even make this up. Like, come on. You guys got to, in order to make all this new, beautiful, bright love and energy to come in, you really have to fucking purge all the dark. That's your advice. That's your advice from Creator God. Purge the old in the past. Heal more and get rid of a lot of shit externally. Yo, when we clean our space, you guys, when we clean our house, our environment, our car, even the mortgage, our life insurance plans, f f purge it from our ex, whatever, it makes room for no more beautiful energy and relationship, okay? Making room in that closet for your boo, yeah, that's the thing. It really does manifest him better. So the advice to you is really get rid of the old energies in the past. If you still have some old PTSD healing from your past relationship also do that too every relationship of a divine counterpart is a mirror so you guys are really mirroring each other you and your your man and you guys are going through the same thing exactly together okay let's see how this relationship will go ultimately once you guys both purge both purge energies how would this relationship go once you guys both heal and purge and make room for one another. <laughs> oh, one more time, feel the beat, I wanna celebrate. Wow, so the world is yours. The world is yours. The world is in your hands. Definitely, oh, this, this whole healing and purging thing that you have to do and he has to do, I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna take a while, it's gonna take a lot of ruckus, but hey, it's all good because we got to sometimes go through uh, some trials and tribulations in order to really justify a great relationship. And that's just how relationships go, you guys. The world's not all sunshine and rainbow. Sometimes we have to purge sh some shit and that's just the way it goes, okay? So you guys, this is a journey, but he is, you guys are going to move forward after doing, getting rid of the old stagnant energy of the past. He's going to come towards you. He's going to fly to you, sweep you off your feet, take you to Dinden, have a weekend in the mountains, and there's going to be fast, fast progress. Best believe he's going to come in. The Mr. Shaken in his boots, boots here. Mr. Shaken in his boots. <laughs> and he's going to definitely tr I'll offer you this love, offer you this highest power, because there's just so much. He's in love with you, you guys. Unconditional love. You can go and murder somebody. I'm telling you, you can go murder someone like today, and he would still love you. He would still be 21 questions, 50 cent visiting you in jail. He would still hoop a bag of tobacco in his butt and sneak it into you in jail, you guys. That's how much this guy loves you. He just fucking loves you so much. So it's up to you, though, to manifest and to do the healing work because free will choice, right? I love you so much. I love you so fucking much. Everybody loves you. Like, come on, you got the you got the best cards. Let's just, I'm just gonna take my time to show you how gorgeous you are. Let's just brag. Can I brag her up? Like, come on, look at this. Look at this. Do I ever get this on my channel? No, no, I don't. 
Look how fucking beautiful you are. Can we just take a second to thank God, God, creator? Bless my, my baby watching this uh, with love and great, amazing opportunities and protection. Because <laughs> she's a dime piece. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. She's one in eight billion. Wow. Thank you for watching my channel, you beautiful ass bitch. Hi, my beautiful loves. Hi, how do you find asses doing today? Look how bougie I am today. I'm a bougie bitch. Anyway, so this is for pile number three, my beautiful babies who chose pile number three. How's my person feeling about me deep down in their heart space that they do not tell their mama, their sister, perhaps their best friend, like their best friend, like, you know, in super bad, the movie when he tells Seth that he likes to draw big veiny triumphant dicks. That's the kind of best friend that they probably tell their true feelings to. Okay. So my pile number three, let's get into it. <laughs> Let's get into how your person's feeling, okay? Deep down in their heart space that they don't tell a motherfucker walk in this planet. All right. Luminosity. That shit turns me on. Wow, this is some very beautiful Lakshmi energy, you guys. This is super gorgeous. Lotus flower bomb, Miguel, like. Okay, you got this guy very hot and saucy for F sakes. Let's see what else. My perfect alien. <laughs> oh, you guys, he really respects how beautiful and unique you are. He really respects how beautiful and how unique you are and how you really are just such this beautiful, unique, unique individual, you know? I am jealous of every man I see you speaking to. Okay, so he's a tad bit, a tad bit jealous here. A little jealousy going on. Thanking, thanking God every day he sent you in my life. I love you. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And we dropped the L-bomb, you guys. We dropped the big ass L-bomb. The big doozy. The big number two of water that splashes on your cheeks. He just dropped that. He said it. He said it. You heard it in here first? <laughs> this guy loves you. All right. Well, duh. Of course he loves you. You're like, boom. This beautiful, luminous, beautiful walking God. That is you. Now let's further get into your tarot. Damn, these are all mixed. That's okay, you know, everything happens for a reason. This, I always pray and smudge on all of my cards. So this is from your ancestors, the card of guidance. I'll give it to you at the end, okay? Pulling your tarot. Oh yeah, let's do your tarot. <laughs> get further into the feels. Wow, you guys, of how your person's feeling about you. <laughs> oh. Wow, look at that, hey. Wow, so gorgeous. Just like you, watching this. Yeah, your dude definitely wants to take you off the market or wants you to, okay, I'll shut up and I'll just flip these cards first. Something needs to come to an end. Something needs to come to a death. Something needs to give. Something needs to fuck off into the sunset before you guys can really utilize your guys' love together. Wow. Off the hop, you guys. Your guys' connection when you guys first met was super crazy, wild ass chemistry. Like, I'm talking to something like a fairy book tale, like something like a, the greatest love story. Lanco, okay, your guys' love, like straight up, like off the hop, was like crazy, crazy intense. So much fucking passion and fire. So much. I'm getting as soon as as quickly as you guys talked about future and having kids and marrying each other and spending the rest of your life together. I feel like it's just as fast as this huge arousal of ecstasy and heart awakening happened. Just as fast as that, it fizzled out. Because right off the hop, your guys' energy was big, 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 big dick energy. Like, you guys just straight up, like, fell in love at first sight. You know, possibly lost weight in the first week. He was on cloud nine, skipping to his work site. Like, singing in his truck. Giving homeless people 20 bucks, even though they didn't ask for shit. Sticking sandwiches in people's 
homeless people's cups, you know what I mean? Even though we all know they don't like sandwiches and they fucking throw it back at you. But yeah, definitely you guys got this guy smitten right off the hop. It was like one the crazy a love story. You know that you know what song I'm channeling that you guys should really listen to? To channel like the feelings of your guys is how you guys popped off is Lanco L A N C O greatest love story such a good song okay and you know my country ass i grew up singing in bars rodeos um every kind of like old canada in every stadium back back in the provinces i i've lived in i was always back and forth from sask and alberta but lanco it's called the greatest love story that is how your guys's love story unfolded it was crazy fucking passionate fiery it was like a zero to a hundred in like four seconds you know that is how you guys is and just as i'm getting the energies just as soon as and fast it popped off it was like it kind of like um went wayward like eh, eh, eh. you know like when a boner boner killer goes eh, eh, eh. that's kind of what happened in the current energy because now he's like he's telling you his higher self is telling you i need you to be independent i need you to be more independent and i need you to be more not so evasive on me i need you to not put all these like he's feeling kind of a little overwhelmed like he has all he's like you're prioritizing him and he knows that he cannot prioritize you right now because right now he's trying to juggle and get his shit together so he really wants you to step back into your independence because he knows that you care for him he ex he's acknowledging that you love him he's acknowledging that you have this beautiful offerings of a great sunset a great life he wants he knows that you can offer him traveling the world wonder lusting different airports he knows you can have that beautiful friendship and best friend friendship that everyone just wishes they have like i'm getting a really great vision of sunset you guys beautiful a new world a whole new world ready to tap into you give this unlimited potential to him that he had only he never even his mind couldn't even acknowledge that he would even dream this high of a dream like that's the kind of frequency you brought to his life you opened up chapter books that he didn't know existed you sent him visions through the 5d visions because you guys have this huge cord going on right now from what i'm getting visions of what could be and right now he's like but with all this beautiful coming on strong and this hot sauce because he's feeling it he wants you to really step back into your power because he's getting his shit together. He's aligning his ducks in a row right now in his own life. And he wants you to really step back in your power, baby. He really wants you to stop, you know, trying to prioritize him and make him first and foremost. And he wants you to get back into your suave and your power, okay? Because he knows you're a powerhouse. He knows you're a brick house. He knows that you're a boss ass bitch. He knows you're a bad mama jama, like sis. He knows that you glow every room you walk into. You have that billion dollar pussy, okay? But he wants you to really step back into your power while he's doing him. He wants you to also, he loves you enough to tell you, I really want you to get back into your, into your grind, your power and stop focusing so much on me is what I'm getting. Cause don't, don't think that he doesn't love you because he does. His heart lights up when he thinks of you guys, but he really needs you to stop putting so much pressure on him is what I'm getting. He doesn't want you to put so much pressure on him because he can't move forward with you right now. And it really hurts his heart that he disappoints you. He doesn't want to disappoint you. Best way to not disappoint you is to you stop putting so much pressure on him and trying to expect so much out of him because he can only give you what he can have. And right now he's aligning his ducks, okay? So he's in the f near future, he's thinking, <sighs> He really has to, I am seeing like, he really has to acknowledge the beast fest, he, the beast fest, not the beast fest, the offering that he has to give to you. He really has, he wants to make it an offering of the ages. He really wants to make a big shebang offer to you. He just doesn't want to come to you with this poverty ass mindset. And this is a whole ass man thing. You guys, I see this in so many personal clientele readings that I do where a man is you know one of the huge things of a masculine is you are the protector and provider like straight up that's just being a masculine energy and this guy really takes it to home because i'm seeing that he really doesn't want to come towards you until he has his shit together his bag together his money together 
to the point where he can come and swoop you up from your apartment, take you out, your condo, take you out, pay for everything. Like he's very traditional like that. So he's until then he feels comfortable enough to come at you. He's not going to come at you being a broke ass bitch. Try, that mentality living in his mama's basement, baby boy shit. Nah, he's not going to come towards you and make action until he feels like he's set, like he's man the fuck up, okay? He is going through putting off this, um, something's got to give. Like, something's got to give, you guys. And he knows that this whole transformation, this whole... You guys have to reach an inevitable ending between you two. Something's got to die in this relationship before he can move forward 100%. Something, he's holding off something before he can come towards you. Let's see what the fuck he's holding off ah, before he comes towards you, okay? Let's see what has got to die before he comes towards you. What has got to die? Before he can fully give you all of him. John Legend. What has got to die? Yeah, so I'm getting player ways. I'm getting player ways. Um, something's got to give. Something's got to die. Before moving forward. Something's got to die before moving forward. Something's got to die before moving forward. Yeah, so before you guys can move forward, before you guys can really go through this beautiful union and transformation, he's really, he's going through his own transformation. He's going through this huge life change that I don't know if he has communicated to you, but he is going through this gigantic life changing spiritual ascension process and it's a solo journey you guys the solo journey of a spiritual awakening it's hella slow like it's solo and you can't be taking folks with you along that way because it's just you and you that's it so your person's going through this huge transformation he's been putting off he's heartbroken you know when you're going, you're about to go through a heart awakening or a who the fuck am I phase? It's the your ascension process. He's been feeling this achy breaky heart in his chest, his heart chakra for a couple weeks now, but he has been refusing to sit with it and heal and feel it. But he's heartbroken and it has nothing to do with you. Heartbreaks kick in right before a spiritual awakening. You get that achy breaky heart. So he's putting off the spiritual awakening and he's definitely going to, Go through it alone, really right away, you guys, because there's no, you can't fucking run from your pain. You can't, you can't fuck it away, shop it away, drink it away, smoke it away. You got to face it. You, there's, it's inevitable. You can only run away from your spiritual awakening for so long. So he's been putting this off. So he's going to face it right away. Actually, I'm seeing it's going to make more awesomer room for you. So in the meantime, you guys, in between this gap, what I want you to do is to do you, do you and try detach. Um from your person the best gift you can give your person you guys is the gift of detaching from him you know how the way he wants you to get in your power and to get back into your independent mode and take your energy back he wants you to grant him that uh because he loves you so much he loves you and cares about you so much that he wants to grant you the gift of happiness and he can't give you anything right now or offer you anything right now so he just wants you to go and be happy that's why he wants you to take your power back and do you. You got to grant him the peace of going through the spiritual awakening right now because he's going to go through it. It's inevitable, okay? He's been putting it off to try make others happy. He's going to come out of it stronger than ever, more wise, more stronger. I'm getting one to two months. So step back, detach. Do you, baby. Um, one to two months, this guy's going to be good to come back to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for him not to talk to you. It's going to be really hard for him not to um, energetically stalk your ass. It's going to be really emotionally tough for him not to respond to you. It's going to be really hard for him to not give you his energy in this time apart because he knows that you're very beautiful, loving, kind, gorgeous, amazing, every man's dream. Like he knows that you're just this billion dollar cootie cat. He knows that you're just so fucking beautiful that 
it's a shame that he has to pull his energy back but he knows in the long run it's because he loves you and it's the best thing for both of you this is a one or two month transportation transformation usually spiritual awakenings at this level take at least a month and a half so there's no timing on spiritual awakening you guys you guys have just got to pull your energy back a hundred percent in order for to get this uh, to get to this place and it hurts him don't think that it doesn't hurt him like don't think that it doesn't hurt him setting you free because it doesn't it fucking kills this guy but he's man enough to to go to have to do this you remember on beauty and the beast when the beast tells bell to go like go be with your dad and he just loves her so much and he's like go be free it's your freedom go be with your dad kind of thing but Yo, I don't judge the way people, folks fall in love. I've seen every single love story that's really crazy. And I don't judge. Creator God is full of love and compassion. I don't give a fuck anymore about the way people fall in love. That's why I just fuck with Disney Channel and Beauty and the Beast. Because people fall in love the way they fall in love. Okay? 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 So yeah, so Beauty and the Beast. Remember on the Beast tells her like, go, go. I give you your freedom. Go be with your dad. Like, go. And because he loves her so much, he just wants her to, you know, go be happy. And... That's the way this guy feels about you. He wants you to just go be happy. Go be so loving. Go be so amazing. Go be so kind. And just, he loves you so much. And he hopes that one day he can come back to you all healthy and happy and stuff like that. And fuck that. Like, this kind of stuff, you guys, takes time. Okay? This takes time. I'm going to actually have to write something down here so yeah so he's just really hoping that you have the patience and love to one day he can come back to you because it's gonna take a lot of resilience you guys it's gonna take a lot of resilience and a lot of resilience and a lot of um never giving up you see that little sign like but I don't want you to hurt yourself, my watcher, and be waiting around because attachment is the root of all hurt. That's why I want you to detach and to do you, okay? So detach 100%, do some cord giving back his energy because he needs all the energy he can get. I need you to give him back his power, just like he's trying to give you back your power because he feels your energy all over him. And that's why he wants you to tell you that you really need to let him go through this alone. And he wants you to go through your alone, okay? If you guys link up in the future, then great. But he's telling you, I love you no matter what. I'll always love you, Whitney Houston, but it's time to do detach. I'll always love you, Whitney Houston, but it's time to detach. As he goes through these psychic downloads, the spiritual awakening, soul upgrades, everything, okay? He can't promise you anything right now. He's just, like I said, he's walking around with this big ass broken heart, achy breaky heart, has nothing to do with you. It's just the timing of his awakening. Yep, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a while. He, you have to let him go through this. Um, eventually, eventually, when he's good to go, he's going to come and reach out in a couple months, contact you, and he's going to communicate. But <laughs> he definitely loves you, you guys. He definitely loves you. I'm hugging and kissing you through the, giving you a huge hug through this because this is really hard, you guys. This is very hard. But yeah, all I want you to do right now is just try detach and stuff while he goes through what he has to go through. Detach and do you, my baby, for your greatest health, okay? So we have all these cards also. So let's see what's this one. Forgiveness. Change your focus. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you know me. I don't know what comes out. I just pray and smudge and ask Creator God with the highest and most beautiful, loving, unconditional love to come through. So, yeah, you guys. Like I said, straight off the hop, you guys came in like a whirlwind and it was instant love. It was like, we're going to move here. We're going to have this many kids. We're going to spend the rest of our lives together. Um, our first child will be called louis richardson the third you know those kind of talks you guys had all the talks you guys spoke about everything you guys were like i met the love of my life you know it was very beautiful very loving just so like creme de la creme creme de la creme you know what i mean and yeah this guy even though he did he is in his own cocoon right now he he loves you like he loves you thanking god every day he sent you in my life. 
so yeah try as much you guys he really hopes that in the far future you can really forgive him uh for what is there to forgive though like homeboy is going through a spiritual awakening but he's such he has such a beautiful passionate love for you that he does he doesn't want to do ev anything to ever hurt you because he recognizes that you're such a beautiful loving soul and you're so loving and have that princess diana energy you're always giving to everybody so he doesn't want to like ever hurt you like that ever in his life so he really hopes that you can just forgive the situation and heal and do you yeah, because he really loves you, you guys. Give the gift of somebody. Give the gift of healing to someone. So he really hopes that you can really just boss up and get back in your independence and be happy and do you. Aw, remember Jack on Titanic when he's on, on that fucking board and he's like, go have lots of babies, have lots of babies and go get married and live to be old. You know what I mean? Remember? And fucking Rose, Rose's weak ass couldn't even push over and let him on that fucking board. We all know there was room for another person. She's such a hoe. But yeah, so, you know, remember, but that speech that Jack gave Rose at the end, that's honestly what he's thinking. That's what he's thinking because he loves you so much. But he knows in order to let you thrive and live your best life, he knows that he has to detach while he goes through these motions, okay? He just sees the stars in the world in your eyes. Um, how does that Mariah Carey song go? When I look into your eyes, feels like the first time. Give me one good reason why we can't just press rewind. I think that's for the record. Yeah, so the song I want you guys to get for the future, for this whole entire damn reading, you guys, I really want you guys to download this song i'll just write it down write it down write it down for the record you ought to know you were sitting thinking when you let me go but whatever it's time or no okay so this is the song i want you guys to check for the record mariah carey that's the song i want you guys to listen to because that's this sums up Oh, the energy of this reading. Oh, you guys are, I'm sending you so much hugs and loves. Another song that popped off like right off the hop that related to your guys' love story is Lanco. It's called Greatest Love Story. So L-A-N-C-O, Lanco, Greatest Love Story. Cause that is how your guy, cause you just came in like a hurricane with your beautiful fine ass and you just swept him off his feet. Now he's in love with you, but he has to go through this healing this huge healing and heartbreak. He has to deal with that shit before he can ever give another. How can you, how can you love another if you can't even love yourself 100%? You can't pour from an empty cup. So let homeboy fill his cup up and then come at you in a couple months. But in the meantime, I need you to detach and pull the cords apart. Out of love for both of you, okay? Give him the gift of healing, okay? That's what you need to do. All right, so my beautiful baby, one piece of advice from your ancestors and angels. Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So yes, unbound yourself, unattach yourself from, like I said, from this union and really just try to focus on yourself right now. Like the huge message I got in the beginning was he wants you to focus on yourself. He wants you to get back into that boss ass bitch mode, be that independent woman, um my best friend's favorite song from neo is miss independent so definitely he wants you to get into that miss independent mode and do you for now okay that was the huge message that came in in the beginning do you remember that so make sure that you release do any kind of releasing and detaching from him give him the gift of healing on his own set him free and he wants to set you free. He wants to give you the gift of happiness out of love. This is all, all these intentions are out of love, you guys. And definitely you're going to go through this massive, massive couple, couple weeks here in the next little. And just know that the angels and your ancestors are with you. And to keep unbinding yourself and cutting, pulling back your energy. And I don't like saying cutting the cord. It's more like pulling the cord. Like a weed in a garden, you have to uproot it from your heart. You just don't cut the cord. You uproot it. Make sure you're using that exercise of uprooting the cord from your heart chakra. Because I can feel your heart right now and you're already really, really fucking starting the process. I can feel your heart and it's begun. So honor yourself and give yourself the... Um, you too give yourself the honor of just healing and grieving right now and detaching because i can feel your heart 
and so it begins let it begin okay unbind yourself I love you so much. I love you so much, my baby. You are honestly represented from the most beautiful woman in the world. I love you so much and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Tarot. Hi lovers, in a dangerous time. <laughs> How's it going today on this gorgeous, beautiful day? Um, thank you for joining me i'm sending you so much love and so much happiness through the screen and yeah pretty much let's just fucking roll right in there hey with pile number four how's your person feeling about you deep down in their heart space that they do not tell their mother they don't tell karen at the grocery store they don't tell beyonce the poster on their wall they don't tell jennifer lopez in their pickup truck when they're singing to i'm real fat joe Okay, so let's get into it. How's your person feeling about you deep down in their cute little beautiful heart chakra? That they do not tell a living soul on this whole entire world, okay? Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure, share my videos because more the better. That way I can come out with way more content and I can always come to you three times a week, twice a week, like way more, okay? I'd appreciate it. It helps me a lot and it means millions of dollars to me, okay? All right, so without further ado, my beautiful babies who chose pile number four, let's get into how is your person feeling about you deep down in their beautiful heart space when they think about you? I only think of you on two occasions that stay in I ooh, ooh. you have so much i don't even know where the hell to start i don't know where to start i'm just gonna actually pull some feeling cards one two three let's pick up where we left off okay captain captain crazy let's pick up where we left off okay so it comes on super strong let's pick up where we left off okay cowboy okay cowboy take me away such a good song you guys cowboy take me away let's go to hawaii all right cowboy take me away speaking of coming and taking me away <laughs> I feel like it's toxic at the moment. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see why he's feeling the way he's feeling. Let's pick up where we left off. Let's go to Hawaii. I feel like it's toxic at the moment. So a lot of idealisms, a lot of thinking about you in his head all the time. You know that first song I was channeling? Um, what the hell is it called again, you guys? It's bugging me. I was channeling a song. And as soon as I opened up with your guys' video, it was... Um, I don't know it'll come to me but yeah so definitely a lot of idealisms a lot of up in his head thinking about you all the time oh now i know what i was thinking i only think of you on two occasions that's day and night okay <laughs> sounded like a fucking pickup truck a semi honking but yeah so the song that i was picking up initially initially for you guys was i only think of you on two that's brian mcknight that's day and night. So this guy definitely is idealizing, thinking about you all the time. And it's more like he's, uh, it's a relationship in his head. So there's definitely a connection, but it's mostly idealisms. It's mostly the, fa the fantasy of both of you. I have a feeling it's not only going on to in his head, like this whole last relationship, but it's also going on in your head. So you guys have built up this living fantasy that's such a good song, by the way, Fantasy by Mariah Carey. This living fantasy you guys have built up in each other's head about one another, and now you guys are stuck there. Now you guys are both, like, on cloud 25, thinking about, like, this whole ass life with each other, with these high-ass expectations, ideal idealizing one another, you know what I mean? Like, just that whole ass relationship in the 5D you guys have that's not grounded at all is what I'm picking up, okay? All right, let's get further into your shit. The distorted masculine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. What else do we have here? Um, simply love. Give love to get love. 
oh so much there's so much feelings you guys in this like i just want to be a songbird today i'm seeing two birds and they are sitting in separate trees and that's what i'm seeing okay i'm seeing two birds in separate trees minding their own damn business not looking at each other and i'm looking at these birds and i'm like why aren't you guys sitting in each other's motherfucking tree why do you guys have to sit in separate trees you guys are the only two birds in the park and you guys are sitting in separate trees why are you sitting in separate trees when you can might as well shoot the shit and be in the same branches so you guys can talk shit about walker buys who walk by who dress their poodles up in the most stupidest dumbest clothes that is what i'm getting for this pile okay i'm getting you guys are just in these both separate ass worlds heads looking the other way idealizing each other not making money moves towards each other reparenting yourself yeah, this has a lot to do, community, community. Why am I doing this first when I usually do tarot first? Thief in the night, you're just the three, just the best at night. You're only wasting my time. Do you guys see that kid pitpocketing? Do you guys see that kid pitpocketing? Gotta do what he's gotta do. Yeah, so um, let's get into your tarot for, without further ado here. And I'll pull these cards, actually. Let's pull this one, actually. Patience. Patience. So there is a lot. Like I said, you guys have this whole ass relationship with one another in your head. So does he. And it's like, you you don't know if you're coming or going. He doesn't know if he's coming or going. You guys ain't trying to link up to make it happen. You guys are not trying to ground this relationship. There's no really legitimate platform or like a legitimate date to link up like it's not grounded this relationship is not grounded whatsoever i'm not getting no damn grounding i'm not getting no earth mother earth wasn't here today she ain't sitting with us okay so let's get further into your tarot here do 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 okay i'm just gonna flip these first actually babe and then we'll get into it you're just the three just the best night only taking your time just a three, just a busy nine. Yeah, yeah, hey. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, Three, just a busy nine. You're only wasting my time. So there's no legitimate plans about moving. There's no legitimate plans about moving forward. There's no legitimate plans about making a, a initiation. There's no discussions about linking up. When you guys first met, it was like this guy was so damn heartbroken over somebody. He was already, uh, maybe he was already in a relationship with somebody. He was definitely going through this motherfucking, maybe he was still living in the house with his ex-wife. But there is a huge, huge, when you guys linked up, it was really, um, I have a feeling it was like at a community place with a fuck ton of family members where it was like you met him in a time where it was like a, a day, like lovers in a dangerous time. Like it would have been frowned upon if you would have found out that you guys would have linked up at the time that you guys allotted this union because he was really effed up. Like he was really in a messed up landscape at the time you guys met. It was like he was probably still living with his ex. Like, if this is a messy ass beginning to any damn love story, any kind of fairy tale, this was a messy ass link up, you guys. Perhaps he was a sneaky link. Linkity dinkity dinkity do, sneaky link all up in this bitch. But there was a definitely a very unhealthy consensus about the way you guys linked up, okay? So he reflects on this a lot and he's like, whoa, the way we even linked up was like super hella crazy. Like, this, very messy is what I'm getting so like I have a feeling it was like something to do with a family function perhaps this is even your cousin's ex-husband or maybe your brother's best friend something very where it's not a, it's not your typical love story where it's like you guys fell in love so beautifully you met at you bumped into each other while walking dogs and then he he and ha ha into the sunset no it was very your non-traditional kind of link up and i have a feeling he feels like it was very shady and very um not traditional love story fairy tale link up okay um like i said 
he could have been living with somebody else. He could have had a whole ass family with some kids and stuff is what I'm picking up on. And that's the way you guys fell in love. So you guys met when he was in a relationship, in a wife relationship, still living with his wife. He had a whole fucking family going on, okay? That's what's up. So my, he might have dipped into your DMs with a whole ass wife. But in the current energy, he's sitting on his laurels. He thinks about you all the time. Remember that song? I only think of you on two occasions that stay in high. So anyways, that's what he's still thinking about you all the time, even though you guys are sitting in separate trees, looking the other way, the only two birds in the motherfucking park, you know, all, all these things that need to be said are not being said. And he's not come, he's not planning in the current energy to ever come forward. He's not even thinking of giving you a, throwing you a bone of a conclusion. He's not thinking of like coming forward to give you any kind of like shred of advice or shred of discussion or offering. He's not thinking in the current energy of giving you a damn thing. To be honest, not even like, he's not gonna throw you no damn bone. In the current energy, this is just what he's thinking. And I just gotta say it like it straight up is. Like, I don't beat around the bush. You know me, beautiful love tarot, I keep it real. So yeah, so he's not gonna offer you a date. He's in the current energy, he's not gonna offer you a shred of love. You guys met when he was in a whole ass relationship, so he thinks about that a lot. And um, yeah, so he's just sitting there and he, he does, he does think about you. He does think he wants to go to Hawaii with you and stuff like that. But that's what I mean, like, why does he have to take you away to make you a secret? It, or, you know, why does he have to make you a whole ass mistress? Why does he have to make you a whole ass mistress and keep you a secret and what, like jet off to some whole ass other fucking continent, you know? What's the big fucking secret here? So even to ever pop off on this like relationship that you guys have to even pop off and run off to the sunset and right off into the sunset because he does see so much potential in you. He does see so much like he sees that you're a damn great person. He sees that you have no damn traumas with you. He sees that you have your shit together. He knows that you are a great person financially, emotionally, spiritually. You're just a very beautiful person. You really are. You super are a really great person, but the way the link up happened just sucked dick, to be honest. And it he is dealing with this karmic wife, karmic long-term ass union. The ex is all up in his energy. He's having to shake this karmic woman that he's with. It's a karmic relationship straight up. It's a lesson and he's not shaking it. Like he's full on in the energy of his ex-wife, his ex-lover and he's not no time soon planning to shake it off. Like this is an addiction that's gonna be really hard and tedious for him to shake. Why? Because there might be all kids involved, dogs. If there's no children, there's dogs, you guys. And dogs are just as loving as he, kids. So like it's this whole divorce he's putting off due to the tangible belongings they have with one another. So you guys have this whole ass relationship. You guys already bumped uglies like a hundred times in the 5D. And he knows this, he knows that you have a lot to offer and you're beautiful, but it's just like, fuck. He doesn't, he can't, like he wants to date you both at the same time. He wants to like juggle you guys both at the same time. He wants to, you know, if he went and accepted a plaque or a gold medal, he'd be like, I want to thank my wife and I want to thank my girlfriend. Like that's how he would be and he would just, that's what it is. Like that's what he, he really cares. Like I'm not trying to say he cares for you or anything, but he can't offer you, he can't offer you what a hundred percent himself. So if you're down with the get down with like being the side piece or the side chick, then yo, I don't judge. You know me, I don't judge on this site, but that's what it's looking like it's gonna be. So he really doesn't, he really sees you like no sort of union in the future like like i said look at even daria is peeping peeping sneaky lincoln looking you know what i mean so like he sees you as being in his life in the future yes he does see you being in his life in the future but it's like a sneaky linky linky the crinky dinky do kind of thing you know and he doesn't see no surge of like offering you anything. He can't offer you anything in the far future because he's full on accepted that he really wants to keep his karmic around. It's convenient for him. Why? Because she's a pushover. She's a doormat. She, she's there 
the bag's already there. You know, she brought his kid into this world or they have dogs together. So she's really good at that. She lays on her back. She puts out. She lets him walk out of the relationship and fuck who he wants. And that's convenient for him. Like it really is. So he doesn't see him leaving his wife or his ex-lover anytime soon. Yeah. So... Yeah, so definitely a thief in the night. Like, he came in the thief in the night. You came in the thief in his night, and you just came out of nowhere and stole his heart. You stole his heart. And he stole your heart. And that's just the way it goes. He thinks about you. He thinks about you. But he does know that this is messy. He knows that this is messy as fuck. And <laughs> that's just straight up what it is, you know? And so he's like... He knows that there's some underlining issues. Homeboy's smart enough to know that this is, like I said, this was linked up on a messy ass situation, third party situation. And he knows some someone's gotta be pretty fucked up or unhealed to accept that it's healthy to be lying and deceiving another human being. So he knows that you guys are both very, need some healing to do. He knows that this is fucked up and you guys both have some healing to do to if you think this is going to be okay. We all know that when you lie, this is just the straight up like, yo, I don't judge or anything, but this is the straight up lessons of life. When you deceit and lie to folks, it comes back to you. It's karma that comes back to you. You make your bed, you sleep in it. So he knows homeboy's smart enough to know that this is some deceitful, shady shit going on here. Okay. He's like, knows that you're patient. He knows you'll always be there because you're also kind of taking the energy of on of the side chick. So he knows that you'll always be there. Um, I'm getting that woman from, what is that show called? The movie Waiting to Exhale. Remember the beautiful chick who's like on her deck in the orange dress and she's super beautiful chucking shoes at that one bum. He's a Pisces. But yeah, she has, she's the sneaky link. She's having a whole ass affair with Madonna's black Jesus there. And she's like, accepts that she's the side chick. And each time he comes in, fucks and chucks her or wham, bam, thank you, mams her. She like, um, she straight up says, when are you leaving him? Are you sleeping with her? You know what I mean? And it's like, yo, you can't ask me if I'm sleeping with my own wife. She's my wife. I live with her. You know what I mean? So I kind of feel that's the kind of relationship you guys are in right now. But yeah, he, homeboy's smart enough to know that, yo, this is messy. We're both fucked up and we really need to heal something within ourselves if we are going to go on like this, <laughs> you know? So yeah, we have two more cards here, you guys. Oh, what the hell is it? Past life relationship. You deserve love. So yeah, so he knows that this can't go on forever because he's going to have to make a choice. He's going to have to do I like the bed, the pillow talks, the bed pillow talks, because you guys have this whole ass fantasy world in your guys's. He's obsessed with you. You're just so beautiful, so stunning. And it's like, I think a lot of what really attracts him to you also is the fact that it's sneaky and he gets off on that. It's sneaky and that's what really gets him off on that is something about the adrenaline of of hiding behind closed doors and of just like, Something about that really turns this guy on. And I think it's the whole adrenaline of being sneaky or loving someone in secret. That's pretty, yeah, that's what he feels. It turns him on because it's sneaky. And lots, some guys get off on that shit. That's something you have to heal. That's a karmic lesson. So he knows, he knows what you bring to the table and he knows that you do deserve love. So he's gonna say everything in his power to try Rico Suave your ass to his bed. But he knows that you're settling for less because you do deserve love and he knows that he ain't giving it to you. And this is a link up from a past life, you guys. This is not your first um, rodeo with this guy. And the huge ass thing about this is he's not going to offer you anything. He doesn't see a future with you long term. If he does, the long term th union he does see with you is you being his side chick. Okay, so you really got to sit back and ask yourself, are you okay with being a side chick? Because you do deserve love. Perhaps in this life, he was brought into your life now for you to finally break that karmic chain of him always walking all over you like a doormat up and down and using and abusing you. All the time when we have an abuser back in this life, whether it's our mother or a lover or a brother, and they abuse us in such a way, it's our lesson, especially in this pinnacle life 
reincarnation in this time of history to learn that lesson to finally choose self-respect and to break that karmic cycle so we're not born on another motherfucking galaxy in another planet and have to repeat it with a miserable ass bitch and have to learn that lesson to love and respect ourselves walking away is the biggest bag and the biggest adrenaline you will ever get because there's no other winner than you when you choose your self-worth and self-love and you do deserve love and this guy knows it but he's using you as a doormat and he's disrespecting you up and down all day every day promises you shit but won't give you shit and that's just how it's gonna be and he thinks that you're he knows you deserve better but he ain't telling you that because he's trying to manipulate you to stay in this very devilly ass energy, okay? So, let's get some advice from your ancestors. Let's get some advice from your ancestors and angels, my baby. Let's get some advice from your ancestors and your angels, my beautiful love. Let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. Thank you, Creator God, for all the messages that come through. Let's get some advice regarding this relationship. Let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. This was the top one, I think. No, I don't know, man. Too many cards. Too many cards. Okay, let's get some advice for my watcher. Too many cards also. Too many cards. Too many cards. One card. Thank you, creator, god, and ancestors. One more. Ooh, ah, so beautiful. So, yeah, so advice for you, my baby. Holy man, hot diggity damn, hot diggity damn. Advice for you is to move the fuck on, okay? <sighs> yeah, advice for you, definitely in this. These are some beautiful ass cards. These are so gorgeous of cards. I'm gonna clarify these, because this is beautiful. I don't want this energy to leave. I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to click off. I wanna clarify these. Creator God, what's up with this? Ooh, damn. What do you guys, what's the advice for this relationship? Wow, these are some hella powerful cards, you guys. Oh my gosh. Wow, these are some powerful cards. Oh my gosh, you guys wow one more this is all major arcanas you guys oh, i'm getting chills wow okay so wow you guys advice for you oh my gosh this is a very powerful union you guys have going on here this was definitely aligned in the stars for you guys to meet link up and experience one another you guys were definitely meant to experience one another. There's no it's, bands, uh, anything. Like, I'm speechless. Like, wow, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Wow. He's got to make a choice. That's all there is to it. He's got to make a choice because we have mental conflict mental conflict here and he, this is where he's at remember i only think of you on two occasions that stay a night he has got to make a choice oh my gosh and yeah he's got to make a choice you guys are super super have this deep deep thick ass fucking connection like he is in love with you but he is convenient stepping all the f over everything of that karmic he's with wow you guys your advice is, wow, this is crazy. This is really crazy. Yeah, your advice is, holy shit. Get the fuck out of your head, first of all. This is crazy. Like, you guys have, are married. Like, you guys have this whole, you guys both want the same thing. You guys both want each other each and every night you guys both want each other you guys both want each other you guys both love each other there's so much love here you guys both want each other you guys love each other wow you guys love the fuck out of each other you guys were definitely lovers same one same outcome same freaking outcome same outcome blocking the heart blocking the heart you guys are definitely meant wow 
You guys definitely are this powerful, have this most beautiful, powerful connection in the world. You guys are counterparts. You guys are learning huge, huge lessons, self-respect, self-worth. You're teaching your lover how to love you better. And this includes, like I said, there's no other better choice than to choose your self-worth and your self-love. So you got to walk away from him. If you want this beautiful union to work, you guys, you guys got to pull all your energy back. Walk the fuck away. And just take take your beautiful light shining, beautiful shining light as the side chick, your star, your sun, your moon, everything. Because this is your counterpart and... You gotta show him how to love you. In past lives, he never loved you. In the past lives, you guys always had third parties all the time. In past lives, he was everything. He was your emperor, he was the king. He was just a man's man, but he always had a side chick. And I have a feeling in this, re this relationship, you're his main chick, even though he has a whole ass family. You're the main chick, and the other chick is his side chick. That's the relationship here. You guys are married in the 5D already, that's for sure. This other chick is just something to convenience to help pay the bills, raise the kids. Wow, you guys, this is wild. This is your counterpart. Wow. You guys are married. But like I said, you guys linked up on a sneaky ass link. He knows you deserve the best. He knows you guys are definitely marrying each other. We got the two of um, swords as the outcome on both ones. Blocking your hearts, choice to be made. Which choice should I make? So this is, I now I know why you feel so much love for one another. Now I can actually feel and see why you guys feel so much love because you guys are married already. You guys are already married and together. Very married and together, but it's a messy ass situation. It's all a fucking hot mess, I'm gonna say that. But you guys are married. You guys have this very, very huge, strong ass cord to one another. And it just comes natural like peanut butter and jelly cream and coffee but in order for you to really learn the lesson in this reincarnation and to love one another 100 percent, you guys got to back the fuck up and take all of your energy back that's the lesson here that is what you got to do in this relationship and let him come forward and i'm not giving no damn timing on this this reading but this is going to take some time so what you got to do is pull all your energy back detach and give him space Wow, you guys, this is so powerful. Because you are that bitch, trust and believe. You have the star, the sun. You're so loved, you're so gorgeous. You're a walking supermodel. You're the most fucking beautiful, baddest bitch. Nicki Minaj, diamond pussy, up in this bitch. That's you, okay? You are the empress. You are every man's dream. Every mother... Every man wants to sleep with you. Every little child wants to be you you're that auntie you're that empress you're the boss ass bitch you're the ceo of your company and he knows it you know it you guys are already married but you have to pull back your energy and you have to do you for now step back into your beautiful empress power and sunlight and do you for a bit baby do you boo boo because this is going to help the union move forward in the future but for now like i said to learn the lesson of more stepping into your power, that self-worth and self-love if you want him completely to you and you don't have to worry about any third parties, do this. Step back into your sunlight and your love. You already are doing it. Like you're already so much achieving so much of your sunlight and your love and your power, but you got to do it even more is what I'm getting. Because you're already such a huge success powerhouse. Got everything together. You're just such this beautiful boss as bitch. Very high frequency. But it's just the pickle and a nickel that you have to meet them in this lifetime with such dire consequences. Like what I'm seeing is you guys are already, you guys are already married. You guys are already together in this whole ass. No wonder why you guys are like up in the clouds. It's because you guys are already married. Soul on a soul level, energetic level, you guys are already married to one another. But he just carries out and goes home and carries out duties because of a child or a kid. Okay, so... I love you so much, my beautiful baby. Like, look at, this has been a really beautiful, like, reading. You are so gorgeous. You are so beautiful. I love you so much. And, yeah, I, fuck, thank you for choosing me to be your person today. Thank you, I love you, and I'll see you next time. I love you.